what is going on guys real quick this video i'm going to show you something i thought was super cool and helpful if you're like me i was running into some problems where i was trying to give transcripts to gpt and get it to summarize and do the notes for me in salesforce and essentially the transcripts were too long i couldn't read it it was too many characters so i found a way around it all you need in order to get around this and be able to upload any length of text whether it's a full book or research paper it doesn't matter you can communicate it to gpt with this method don't need to install anything it's not complicated it's super easy however what you do need is gpt4 um in order to get that you got to pay to get the subscription so if you just see gpt 3.5 you don't see the buttons here that's probably because you're on the free version the reason you need gpt4 is we need access to the plugins specifically vox script this will enable it to read certain files especially the github file that we're going to use to communicate to it if you have GPT-4 but you don't see these buttons, the reason is you need to go over here to your settings, to your beta features, and enable plugins. Um, yeah, that's how you do it as of now, which is May 29, 2023. This will probably change in the future. But let's say you have a big-ass file that you want to communicate to GPT and the prompt's too long. How do you do it? Well, go over to github.com. Once you get to GitHub, you're going to have the main page you're just gonna create an account. All you need is a Gmail, it's super easy, it's free, no problems like that. You're gonna hit the plus sign. Oh, and it looks like I'm already on that page. So let me try and get off that page. Sorry guys, let's uh, get in here. Okay, so you're on the main page. This is just on a dummy account here. You're gonna hit plus. You're gonna go to new gist, new gist. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And this is where we're going to upload our text file that is too big for the prompt. So I'm going to use an example. I found free books over here. And I'm just going to find the plain text here. Now this is a big book. It's like 4,000 lines. So way too big for a prompt. I'm going to hit Control A to select all. Control C to copy it. Go over to my GIST. Just have you pronounce that. Hit Control Paste. Control V. See, it's 4,400 lines of text, so this is much too big for any prompt. Let's call it book5.txt so it knows what file. I'm going to hit create secret gist. Boom. That's all you got to do. Once you have this created, as long as you have the Vox script plugin, just hit control C on the address, go back over to GPT, and I'm going to say summarize this book for me in a concise manner. I'm sure, I just butchered how to spell that. Let's give it a correct here. Concise, beautiful. Hit enter. It's gonna use the Vox script plugin. It's gonna go, it's gonna look at that link and it's gonna be able to access it. I personally found great use of this in sales. I can upload my entire call transcripts, tell it the formatting I want all my notes done and just copy paste that right into Salesforce. With a little bit of tweaking. If you want to data mine, if you want to summarize research papers, long stories, customer transcripts, basically communicate any length of text to GPT, this is how you do it in the easiest way. So as you can see, I didn't say anything about the title of the book, but it already knows Daddy Jake the Runaway is a book written by this guy. It was published in 1898, and it can summarize the story for me. Pretty cool. I hope that is helpful. If you want to learn anything more, I've been having so much fun using GPT, especially for sales, but writing emails, doing Salesforce notes, and playing around with these plugins. If you want to know any of the other cool shortcuts I've done to save about 90% of my workload, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Hope you guys find this valuable. Peace out.